In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Supala cat. The Supala cat is an extremely rare breed of cats with a typical solid brown to copper colored coat that found its origin in Thailand almost three centuries ago. Often confused with the Havana brown and the ebony colored Burmese cats, these cats are a natural breed of pure Thai origin, and the breed standards do not allow out crosses with other non-Thai cats. When they are in the sun, their coat typically emits an almost reddish cast. Though in normal light, they look more towards the darker chocolate side. The color of their whiskers is also brown, and the nose leather is of rosy brown color. The paw pads are light brown, having a pink tone, while their eyes are a bright yellow to golden in color. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Subhalak cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Subhalak cat's history. The Subhalak cats were mentioned in pictorial and written descriptions for the first time in the Tamra Mayu, which is supposed to have originated in the Ayutthaya kingdom. These books discuss different breeds of the heritage cats from Thailand like the Supalak, the Korat, and the Blue-Eyed, Seal Point Siamese cat named Wichinmon. Among these the most well-known being the Korat that has established its popularity around the world, and also bred in Thailand for the purpose of preservation. Translated as the cat book poems, these are a collection of ancient manuscripts a dozen of which are preserved in Thailand's National Library while the rest are in the British Library and National Library of Australia. In all these manuscripts, the name Subhalak has appeared time and again referring to the magnificent characteristics of the feline. So is the name Thong dying in the older Tamra Mayu manuscripts, describing it as copper-colored. One of these poems compares the rarity of these cats with that of gold. The cat has been described to have been having a solid-colored coat, while elsewhere in the scripts, their complexion has been depicted to be like ripe copper, which, most probably refers to heated copper that takes more to the reddish side. However, the English translation of these poems has not been completely clear. While still in other parts of these texts, the color of their coat has been defined as simply solid red, with the color of their eyes being like thuptum, which translates to ruby or pomegranate that sparks and shines like rays. Though a cat with crimson eyes is not very common, however, the translation can be more accurate upon studying the pomegranates that are found locally in Thailand are studied. These fruits have a skin that is flavescent to golden yellow. This might offer a clearer alternative interpretation of the color of the eyes that are found in the Suffe Lax today. On 7th of April, 1767, with the end of the Burmese-Siamese War, the Siamese front lost the battle and all the royal treasures were stolen, along with the Buddha images made of gold. Their members of the royal household, along with the noblemen, were taken captive. When the king of Burma read about a brown cat named Suphalak in the Tamra Mayu, he could learn that, these cats are rare as gold and anyone who would possess these lucky cats would become rich. He ordered his men to bring all these cats to Burma. Till date, this legend takes round amidst the Thai people as a humorous explanation of the reason as to why the process of development of the Suphalax has been so slow, and they are still so uncommon. 2. Suphalak Cat's Appearance The Suphalak's coat color should be a rich and even shade of warm brown throughout the body. The coat color is ideally more of a red-brown rather than a black-brown and does not show tabby markings. The Tamra Mayu refers to this color as thong dyeing, or the color of copper. Breeders in Thailand today often compare the coat color to the pulp of the tamarind fruit pod, a common ingredient used in Thai cuisine. The overall body and head type should be consistent with the native population of domestic cats found in Thailand. The body is medium-sized, muscular, and semi-foreign in type. The head type is described as a modified wedge, medium width, and moderate length. Neither the body nor head type should be extreme in any way. The whiskers should be brown, complementing the coat color while the nose leather is a rosy brown color. The paw pads should be light brown with a pink tone. The eye color is a bright yellow or gold color, described in the Tamra Mayu as shining and sprinkling sun rays. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 3. Subhalak Cat's Temperament and Personality The Subhalak Cats are an active, interactive, and assertive breed of cats that cherish the company of people. Being said so, it is needless to explain how dearly they are fond of their owners and family members. Being affectionate themselves, they expect the same love that they give to you. So, all that they hate is being left alone or ignored. They are playful and zealous, and need a little bit of your time and attention, especially when it comes to an interactive play session. So it is a good decision to provide these active felines with cat toys, and a separate enclosure, dedicatedly meant for them to explore around during their moments of adventure. 
This breed is intelligent and would understand immediately what you want to say or express. Their prompt intelligence and communicative abilities often take on more to the dog's side. 4. Taking care of Supalak cats. The beauties in copper do not require extensive grooming, except for brushing their coats from time to time, maybe a couple of times every week. This is primarily because of helping them get rid of dead hairs, stay clean, and maintain the shimmering luster of their elegant coat. However, like most other cats, they constantly keep cleaning themselves whenever they find themselves dirty. Because this is a newly developed breed, the sup cats have no known breed-specific health issues at present. Although, genetic diseases that are common to almost all other domestic breeds of cats cannot be ruled out. 5. sup Cats Training General cat training is recommended. Being intelligent and communicative, they would pick up commands and tricks easily. Teach them the basic home etiquette and all the rules of your household that you expect your feeler to know. 6. sup Cats Diet there are no dietary plans that are specific to this particular breed. Only a general cat diet and normal cat food are enough to keep it healthy. 7. Suphalox Breed Development Throughout the past several decades, many breeders in Thailand have bred thong dying cats with dark points and considered them to be Suphalax. They were entered into cat shows in Thailand and exhibited as Suphalax. Noted authors such as Martin Clutterbuck assumed this was the case. As a result, there was much confusion, especially among Burmese breeders who mistakenly insisted that Suphalax were a solid sable-colored Burmese cat of Thai origin. Experienced Thai breeder Kam and Priyeka Pukabu disagreed with these breeders because the ancient poems describe a cat with a whole body copper appearance and that would mean even the skin needed to be reddish in color and not dark or black like a sable-colored Burmese cat. Using one proper Suphalak male, he tried to resurrect this lost breed of cat with the ideal features, but without success. This has been attributed to two major problems, the first being that the Suphalak is so rare that breeders have had great difficulty finding them. Genetically, the Suphalak is a chocolate self, expressing two recessive alleles for the brown color B and the dominant C allele giving the Suphalak its solid brown color. For two recessive alleles to randomly combine without human intervention, in a Thai temple or on the street is rare. Secondly, the solid copper chocolate Suphalak was so scarce that few people had ever seen one and even if they did, they would not know that there was anything special about it. So there was no concerted effort to preserve these cats and they never entered a breeding program until recently. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.